Hello everyone, today in Sanji's Cookery, we're going to see how to prepare the bitter guard roast. Bitter guard roast is a very healthy and delicious recipe uh, which requires very minimum ingredients. And if you're going to do uh, the bitter guard roast in this particular way, and I'm sure all the people who really don't like bitter guard also will start liking it. I can guarantee about that. This bitter guard roast goes very well with plain rice, variety rice, and also with curd rice. So before we start the preparation as to how to prepare the bitter guard roast, if you're watching my video for the first time, I would request you all to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon for further interesting recipes and notifications. Today we're going to do the bitter guard roast in mango style. For that I have actually finely chopped the bitter guard into small pieces and I have soaked it in the buttermilk. Let it soak for at least about 30 minutes. We are doing this basically to avoid the sourness in the bitter guard. You can also scrape the skin of the bitter gourd a little bit that is the spikes of the bitter gourd can be slightly cut before chopping it since i have already chopped it i was not able to show it to you this is a small tip which i want to pass it on and uh, the other ingredients are i have actually taken a lemon sage tamarind which is soaked in hot water i have taken some coconut oil about three to four tablespoons or we can use a mix of coconut oil and gingerly oil as well about two to three tablespoons of grated coconut jaggery powder about 2 teaspoons and also this is the roasted chili red chili methi seeds and also hing i have fried all the three ingredients and i have powdered and kept it in case if you don't have this you can always substitute this with sambar powder or with rasam powder that will also taste good salt as per taste red chili powder about 1 teaspoon, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds and 1 red chilli slit into 2. Now I have heated up the pan, I am adding the coconut oil. As I told you, we can add a mix of both oil also. So I am also adding some gingerly oil. So the oil has got heated up and I am adding the mustard seeds. I am also adding the red chilli. I am adding a few curry leaves. So now I am adding the bitter guard which I have soaked in the buttermilk. I am only adding the bitter guard. I am not adding the extra buttermilk. So nicely squeeze it and then add it in the pan. So just fanning the bitter guard for about 2 to 3 minutes. Now we will add the spice powder. I will add little bit of turmeric powder. Chilli powder as well as some amount of salt. I am also adding around half a cup of water. Let's close this and cook for about 5 minutes. So it's been about 5 to 10 minutes. Once the bitter gourd is half cooked, we will be adding the tamarind water. So let it cook in the tamarind water for a few minutes. You can even add a little bit of tomato in case if it is required but I prefer adding the tamarind water now at this stage you can check for salt and if required you can add salt accordingly I am also adding the spice powder which is prepared uh, which is dry roasting the red chilli methi seeds and also little bit of hing so that I am going to add it here but in case if you don't have this powder you can always add the hing powder separately and substitute the same with rasam powder or sambar powder. I am also adding a little bit of jaggery powder. I am adding around 2 teaspoons. The more jaggery you add, it will give you a very good taste. This is the Udupi style. So, in South Canada, people prefer to add more jaggery, more oil, more spices. So, when you add all these things in more quantities, you will get a very good flavor. Let's close this and cook it for a few minutes. So it's been about 10 to 12 minutes. It's getting cooked on a medium flame. So at this stage you can check if you need extra sweetness. You can add or you can just leave it like that. And we're just going to switch off the gas. And garnish it with some fresh coconut. So we gently mix it up nicely. This is how they make it in the wood pea style. A lot of jaggery, coconut. And if you prepare it this way, even... The persons who do not like bitter guard, I am sure they are going to relish this dish very much. So now we are going to transfer this to the serving bowl. So the Udupi style bitter guard tamarind roast is ready. 
So finally, I'm just going to garnish this with a few curry leaves. So this dish goes very well with sambar rice, rasam rice or with curd rice. This can be had like a pickle itself or with chapatis also. It is a very good dish. I hope you all try out this recipe and if you like it, please share it with your friends and relatives. Have a wonderful day.